today? Uh, today is Friday, January 28th, so tomorrow, sorry, 27th, so tomorrow is Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year, year. So I just want to wish all my Asian brothers and sisters a happy, prosperous, and healthy New Year, the year of the rooster. Uh, so yeah, I am on my way to Poker and Fruit. I actually wanted to check out Janelle because they just launched their spring summer act number one yesterday. I am interested in looking at their Deauville tote. Um, what do you guys think? Because I know you guys know that I don't use big bags because I told you guys like a million times but I've never seen one in person and so I'm gonna try to do that they don't have the sizes or the colors that I want I think I'm gonna go with something dark like a dark denim or something uh, and I want the large size but the smaller large size so the one that has two handles but the smaller of like all the large size because I think they call them all large size even though one is like a middle, one is a smaller, and one is like a huge, almost like a duffel bag size. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think? I know that I don't use big bags very often, and I already have a Neverfull, but I don't know. I feel like I need a bag that is more weatherproof, that is still quite big. I know I have my Speedy V25. There is things that annoy me about that bag, namely the zipper opening just how it is configured I don't tend to reach for it in fact I would rather reach for this one which I'm wearing today and I love still um, so it's possible if I do fall in love with the Deauville that I would be selling my Speedy V that's kind of crazy but I don't know if I don't reach for it I should not keep it right so what do you guys think those of you who have the Deauville, please let me know down below in the comments all your feedback. Like, be, be really honest with me and tell me everything you feel about the bag. I'm running out of breath. Outfit, wearing my uh, trusty waterproof Echo shoes, Banana Republic jeans, uh, Celine trapeze in the small, and both my coat and my Scarf today, this is faux fur, are from Aritzia. My hair's a mess. New Year, and so a lot of festive decorations, but not nearly as much as in Asia. Heading to my store, see what they have. Oh, look at those spring colors, they're really nice. Love it. So here's the sequence. And this is the large size but with only the one type of handles it's actually a really cute size but I think it looks best with the other one reveal coming soon with this bag you guys are so right the diorama is oh my goodness so this is the gold medium size oh, it's so pretty oh my gosh I cannot believe how beautiful this is I might just have to get it forget the Deauville oh my gosh I love it I'm asking her to get the silver for me to try on because I'm falling in love with it so bad in the car I think I will just um, wrap it up here I think it was a very productive day um, 
as in I think I found out a few things and I, it's, it's making me go nuts a little bit again but basically at Chanel I looked at whatever they had they only had like the heavier it's not even tweeds like a heavier kind of like it's not straw either but it feels kind of in between uh, in the larger size the Deauville and then the denim one only comes in the large size with the single shoulder handle but I definitely wanted the style with both types of handles and uh, we don't know when it's coming and the weight could be an issue I think the denim would be lighter but I don't know I'm just I feel like I really love the style but I don't know if I can um, again blindly go ahead and buy one if it comes and I, I I just don't know and then of course I fell in love with the diorama now that I checked it out and tried in person uh, and also the essay was quite helpful it was still in Holt Renfrew but they did expand the Dior section uh, and I felt like um, maybe I was there at the right time because the gold color is just superb it's so beautiful I I love it more than the boy I seriously love it I I want it so much even though they look similar the space was definitely not the same the diorama feels a lot more structured and feels good it felt really good the chain was also lighter so I love that and now it's a matter of me deciding what I want to do because I'm not spending new money or at least I'm, I don't want to spend too much new money getting uh, another bag so I will have to evaluate my collection again and see what can go at this point I think the Speedy B can go since I tried to sell it once I backed out because I was scared <laughs> And also, um, I, of course, I have my reasons for keeping it also. Um, like I told one of my subby, Jennifer, if you're watching. Uh, so, uh, oh, Jessica, sorry. <sighs> but I think it's time to go if I am serious about the diorama and possibly my Alma, B, I'm Alma PM, I mean. So, I don't know. The, some bags have to go. <laughs> I don't know which one. But we'll think about it and then of course you guys will know because I always put it on my uh, Instagram. Um, I do have an Instagram account where I only post things that I put on sale. I always put all the links down below for you guys to follow me there. But in case you guys don't know, it's Fashionably Amy's Closet. Um, so yeah, I think that's that. And then also you guys had a lot of feedback or you guys I posted my video on my best and worst purchases last year and you guys a lot of you ask me about um, selling and also that you can't get into the Facebook groups it's they're all private groups the Facebook groups they're all private groups you need to have a Facebook account first log in and then you can request to join the, the private group so there's Chanel ones there's LV ones uh, the LV ones, uh, of course, I'm also part of the Canadian one and also there's a Vancouver one. Uh, there is an administrator or there's a group of people uh, that will monitor all the people who request to join and they will approve depending on, you know, I guess they go through their requirements to approve people. So it is not a secret, but it is a private group and uh, I always put all the links in my videos. So <laughs> I know sometimes I do forget, but usually when someone tells me and I know it's missing, I put it right away. I also included the link where I talk about how to sell luxury items. And guys, selling is really hard. Like you guys should rewatch that video or if you knew you can rewatch, you can watch my video where I talked about, it's a Q&A video and I covered in lots of details on uh, all the selling methods and just so you guys know selling is not easy and it's not fun and I'd rather not have to do it except that you know us addicts we have this thing where we uh, don't you know we don't want to spend new money on trying to get new bags and stuff like that and of course sometimes when bags just sit there it makes no sense to just keep it there so check out my uh, Q&A number 20 uh, how to sell Lux items and also for the Facebook groups you guys just do what I told you uh, it takes a bit of time to get approved uh, and also if you're just trying to sell things in general 
you have to do your homework and you have to be, you know, it takes time and it, it takes a lot of patience. You have to take good pictures um, and sometimes it just doesn't sell or sometimes it takes forever to sell. So I just wanted to make that clear and that you guys have that expectation that comes with experience and you have to do a lot of work to try to sell something. It's it's a lot of prep work and, it, and then it's a waiting game. And you guys should definitely, definitely do your homework and spend a lot of time learning how to. Other than that, so yeah, I don't know when I'll post this vlog, but I do have a lot of backed up footages, uh, basically vlogs that I will post. And I'm thinking I will basically convert my second channel, which has no videos right now, but I do have a second channel where I think I'm going to convert it into a vlogging channel because uh, I know a lot of my vlogs are not really related to handbags or fashion. Sometimes it's just my day-to-day -day stuff. But I know a lot of you guys love watching them and I love making them and it's just sometimes I just feel like it's not the right place to post it in this main channel. So I think I'm just going to convert my other channel into my vlogging channel and then I'll talk about anything over there uh, that is not necessarily you know um, related to fashion or handbags or luxury stuff like that and yeah hope you guys will join me in my second channel I will <sighs> let you guys know when it's ready or you will probably see it in the description box or in uh, maybe in my future videos, I will, you know, try to announce it in each of my new videos so that uh, you guys will be updated. And if you feel like joining me there, then you're welcome. So anyway, I think that's it for today. That's a lot of talking. I hope I'm not boring you guys. Um, but if you're still watching, as always, thank you for your love and support. Uh, Happy New Year and I will talk to you again very soon in the next one. Bye! <laughs>